This is Dr. Calvin Estrin presenting the second episode of our series that deals with overweight and its current treatment. In the first instance, I talked about the terrible epidemic of obesity now affecting young kids and all the dangers that <coughs> they uh, face. But I'm going to talk now about a very important component of the problem, namely sleep. If people are not sleeping well, they end up depleting themselves of a very important brain chemical called serotonin. And this governs the depth of sleep, and when you get down to the level of <coughs> no serotonin to speak of, then certain important symptoms appear. One is that people have carbohydrate cravings, and they become almost addicted to these comfort foods. The second thing that happens is that they are not <coughs> sleeping well enough to have daytime energy, so they end up with uh, lack of exercise with the capacity to uh, indulge in the proper healthy exercise that's required for a sleep loss, uh, for weight loss. Now, the problem here is that it's not so easy to get this serotonin. Uh, it's not something that you can get in a health food store or in conventional um, med sleeping medicines that are out there. There's only one medication that I've found <coughs> that really works. It carries with it a bit of serotonin in its own chemical structure. And in the beginning of sleep, if you have this medicine transidone on board, it will give a jump start to sleep that will allow you to go down to the deep level of restorative sleep that's required to make all your brain chemicals come into that uh, proper balance. Now, in the course of the exposure to serotonin through transidone, you will repair the deficit of serotonin and gradually be able to get a weight loss problem that works for you, and not only in the short run, but also in the long run. Because most people's diets never really last because they run out of serotonin. It appears that they need to have serotonin in order to keep the <coughs> weight from coming back. And the way they can get it is from this one magic medicine present. So I'm uh, sending the message out that it's not just a matter of diet and exercise, which is uh, what people would be required to do in most conventional medical practices. There has to be some sense of how important sleep is and how you can rectify it by this simple, safe medication. I, I think that <clears throat> when this is properly appreciated, you will know, make a huge difference in the way in which we're able to control our overweight patients. Up to now, we're not doing a very good job of it, and it's nobody's fault, because this is something that has uh, taken over patients who are lacking in serotonin. It's like an addiction that is just as powerful and pervasive and difficult to manage as it would be in a case of a hard drug addiction. So but this one you can get rid of by proper sleep.